Matthew, Chicho, I asked you a long time ago, maybe three quarters of a year ago, whether you thought it was ever or could ever be um, appropriate for an individual to become violent against politicians or technocrats or anyone in a position of power. Has your position changed given what has occurred over the, la over the past three quarters of a year? Um, I don't think violence is going to solve anything. I think uh, I know some people disagree with me. I know some people disagree with me. Uh, the problem with violence against centralized power like this is because they're capable of a lot more violence than we are. Their minds work in a very distorted way, right? Like, for example, would you have, uh, as an individual, as a, as a moral individual, would you have ever conducted renditions uh, where you're kidnapping children, taking them to a black site, and torturing 14 year old children because you were told to do so okay would you would you have done that as a moral individual right because that's exactly what the US government did the machinery the military machinery of the US government okay and their politicians so psychopath gave the order that you're torture 14 year olds to see what they know and the American government took these children or this one children specifically to Guantanamo Bay held them for eight ten years to started torturing them when they're 14 years old right personally for me I, that's beyond my comprehension of doing right so I refuse to go violent against an institution or organization that is capable of thinking of doing horrendous acts way beyond my capabilities of even understanding comprehending right and i think that's the way it is for most people so what needs to take place is a peaceful revolution peaceful uh, regime change in the western world because these psychopaths have proven have proven that uh they are mass murderers so and there has to be accountability there has to be accountability right there has to be accountability